This is Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 3.3. We're going to look at transforming again. This time we're going to look at scaling. Reflection is simply a special case of scaling. So we're working with A and B again. In the form Y is equal to A times F of X, this is a vertical compression if the absolute value of A is less than 1. If the absolute value of A is greater than 1, this is called a vertical stretch or expansion. Here's an example. Plot G of X is equal to 2 times F of X. So we just take this value, which is negative 1, scale it to negative 2. This value is 1, scale it to 2. This value is 2, scale that to 4. This one is negative 2, so we'll scale that to negative 4. And then, since these are all lines, we can connect these points with lines. And the domain of F, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, to 1, 2, 3. And the range of F goes from negative 2 to 2. And the domain of G remains the same, negative 4. 3, and we look at the range, and it goes from negative 4 to 4. So, in general, the domain remains unchanged. The range is multiplied by A. Let's look at the other case. Y is equal to F of B times X. If the absolute value of B is less than 1, then we have a horizontal stretch or expansion. Expansion. If the absolute value of B is greater than 1, then we have a horizontal compression. Let's look at an example. Plot G of X equals F of 0.5X. And because it is less than 1, we have a horizontal stretch. So, we take 1 divided by 0.5, that gives us 2. 2 divided by 0.5 gives us 4. And negative 1 divided by 0.5 gives us negative 2. Again, these are lines, so we can connect these points with lines. The domain of F, we have negative 1 to 2. And the range, we have negative 3 to 2. And for G, we have the domain as negative 2 to 4, and the range is negative 3 to 2. So we look at the range, it's unchanged, and we look at the domain, and it's double. So in general, the domain is divided by B, and the range is unchanged. And we can combine horizontal and vertical scaling. So here's an example, G of X is equal to negative 1.5 times F of negative 2X. Okay, we look at this point, there is no vertical because it's at zero. So we only have horizontal, so we do negative one divided by negative two, which is one half. Here, we have two divided by negative two, which is negative one. So we'll go over here. And we have one times negative 1.5. So that's negative 1.5. Here we have 3, 3, so we do 3 divided by negative 2, so that's negative 1.5, and then we do 3 times negative 1.5, which is negative 4.5. Now we can connect the dots, and this is g of x. Now our domain is negative 1 to 3. And our range is 0 to 3. The domain and range for G, we have negative 1.5 to 1 half. And for the range, we have negative 4.5 to 0. Okay, and the easiest way to scale a function is plot the original function if it's not already there. 
scale the key points, then copy the curves between the key points. We have different problems. So we need to know how to transform a pre-image to an image using A and B. So if we have points, we can plot them. X prime is X over B. Y prime is A times Y. Going backwards, well, we simply do the algebra. Here we multiply both sides by b, so x equals b times x prime. And we divide both sides by a, so we have y is equal to y prime over a. Let's look at an example. The point on an image is coordinates 5, 2. And the transform is a vertical compression of 3 and a horizontal stretch of 2. Find the pre-image point. A equals one third because we have a vertical compression, so that means we must divide. We have a horizontal stretch of two, so we have one half. Remember, for the horizontal, we need to divide, so it's one over two. So we take this point and we go x equals. 1 half times 5. So we have 5 over 2. And we have y is equal to 2 over 1 third. And we get 6. So point P is 5 over 2, 6. Remember in this question we're working backwards because we're trying to find the pre-image. Okay, and here's another problem. The pre-image has a point 10, 6. The image has a corresponding point 5, 2. Determine A and B. Okay, so we can use either formula. Let's use this one, Y prime equals AY. So A equals Y prime over Y. And we have 2 over 6. And that's one third. We have x prime equals x over b. So b equals x over x prime. And that's 10 over 5. And that's 2. If you wanted to write this in a function form, we would say g of x equals one third f of 2 x. And that completes this lesson.